But first, the big news breaking this hour, the Congress's Shashi Tharoor has now written to his party explaining his praise of Narendra Modi. He's told his party that he did not defend Modi. He says, I only raised the larger point of uh, governance. Sashi Tharoor had in fact spoken to CNN IBN last night where he had explained his position on Modi. He had said that the media has misrepresented him. I think the problem with uh, our media is it tends to misrepresent what it reads very hastily or doesn't read at all. Maybe it's reading paraphrases of my article. What I said was that Mr. Modi is trying to rebrand himself and remake himself from a hate figure into an avatar of modernity and, and progress. From the 16th of May onwards, we've heard nothing but positive, accommodative, inclusive language of reconciliation. We have not heard Hindutva being mentioned. We've not heard divisive rhetoric. And if that Modi, Modi 1.0 if you like, comes back in to the reckoning and starts behaving or saying things that the Congress party and we as individuals do not believe reflect our values and our convictions, we will robustly oppose it. Pallavi Ghosh uh, joining us on the phone line. So, Pallavi, after, uh, you know, uh, making a statement here on CNN, I mean, yesterday, now he's uh, uh, written uh, to the party, of course, along expected lines. That's right. In fact, yesterday at the Congress press conference briefing, he was actually publicly pulled up and the party stand was to distance itself quickly from what Shashi Tharoor had to say. What well, the party saw was in defense of Narendra Modi saying that that was his personal opinion. And pretty much the same has been said uh, by Shashi Tharoor in his letter to the Congress top leadership and to the party that he was not defending what Narendra Modi was doing. He was actually pointing out that if Narendra Modi has changed his colors, that's something which needs to be appreciated. But if Narendra goes back to his earlier side of politics, the Congress party certainly must continue to resist him. Right. Uh, and uh, as far as this case is concerned, Pallavi, now that he's explained himself, should we uh, uh, consider it a shut case as far as the Congress is concerned? Well, I think so. Uh, and it's also not the first time, really, Karma that Shashi Thoor has landed himself into trouble with his party. But I think the fact that he's given his clarification, the Congress has made his point of view clear, uh, for now, of course, makes it stand clear. He's also one of the most articulate leaders of the few members really left behind the Congress party in the Lok Sabha. But for now, what Congress sources are saying is that they are going to uh, let the matter be. Right. Uh, Pallavi, thanks uh, for that update. We'll continue to track that uh, story.